a Google star. Good morning, everyone. My name is Christopher Hernandez. I'm a third year PhD student in industrial engineering at the University of Central Florida. As you can see, I just got up. It's 7.35 in the morning. I just took our dog Maya outside. And then next is making coffee. I can't start my day without making coffee. So what is this UCF Lockheed Martin College Work Experience Program? So it is a year-round part-time program for students to take part in um, where they gain real-world experience in industry. And we work about at least 15 hours a week and a maximum of 25. They highly emphasize that time management and ensuring that we do well in our academics because school is always important. So it's actually almost time for my staff meeting, um, so I have to go. But also a reminder that when you're working from home, there isn't work attire, so as you can see, I'm in t-shirt and shorts. When I'm at site, of course, I'm gonna dress nicer. All right, let's go. I will be focusing my efforts on this reorganization task that I have been uh, working on for the past few weeks now. I also help with a lot of data entry or data analysis tasks that any engineer will ask for. It's about 10.30 now. I had finished my staff meeting and caught up on work and emails, and now I wanna talk to you about Lockheed Martin. So Lockheed Martin is a global security and aerospace company that creates products and technologies to connect and protect people all across the world. There are a total of 114,000 employees in over 395 facilities. And I work at the one in Orlando, the missiles and fire control site on the production operations team. So how did I get this job? I wasn't aware of this opportunity before coming to UCF. I had did my undergrad elsewhere and during my second semester in graduate school, I wanted to pursue an internship or a part-time opportunity uh, throughout my degree because I wanted to gain industry experience while also working on my schoolwork. I learned of this opportunity about like beginning of the second semester and I had attended this informational session and I was immediately drawn into this experience and I had applied for this uh, first seat weapon, I received two interviews. I and it was it was a very smooth process. The interviews I had the interviews about a couple days after being offered the interview. Uh, I actually only did one because I was offered the job uh, about a day or two after, and I had accepted it. And the interview pro process was pretty smooth. They had asked me questions about my previous experiences. I had um, completed two internships in the aerospace industry, and I had touched on what my current goals are, future goals. And as far as what my future goals are, I'm, obviously I'm, I, I wanted to gain this industry experience while getting my degree because I aspire to work in industry after completing my degree. And I felt like this program would help me achieve that goal. In fact, in, in being a part of CWEP is also a good opportunity for those that want to roll into full time after, um, after finishing their degree, whether it's their undergrad or graduate degree. In fact, about 60% of the CWEPs per year are offered full-time jobs with Lockheed, which is a pretty good statistic for those that are part of CWEP. All right, it's just about to be noon and I'm hungry, so it's lunchtime and we're gonna make some chickpea pasta. All right, everyone, so lunch is served. Uh, this is my girlfriend, Danny. Hi. She also works from home, so we will share a meal together when I work from home as well, usually around noon. And our meals vary. Sometimes we have leftovers, sometimes we cook something like today. We had some pasta. Um, if you're eating, I hope you enjoy your food too. Uh, we're gonna enjoy ours. So we just finished lunch and I have about an hour left with work. As CWEPs, we work with our managers to determine our schedule. So I had determined with my manager that 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. from Monday to Thursday works best for me. We have a three-day weekend, which is which is awesome. So CWEPs will work with their managers to determine a schedule that works best for them, as long as it is more than 15 hours and less than 25. Managers are very flexible with your schoolwork. They understand that schoolwork comes first, so if you have an exam or if you have class, they'll make sure that your work hours are around those times. All right, hey everyone, checking back in. So I had logged off from work around 1.45 p.m. and it is almost 4 p.m. here. I have a research meeting with my professor soon. Um, as mentioned earlier, I'm a PhD student, so I do work on some research. We usually meet around um, every two weeks. It's good to have this in place to make sure that I'm staying on track with my, my work. I'll be talking with him soon, so let's see how it goes. 
All right, so research is done. Now we're headed on to campus to do a little bit, some more work. And but before, we're gonna grab some dinner at Gringos Locos. All right, so Danny and I just got some really good food, and now we're gonna stay on campus a little bit longer, do some more work. After that, we'll be going back home, and that will conclude my day. I'll be going on site tomorrow, and I will see you all in the morning. Good morning everyone, so it's about 7.30 a.m. and I will be headed on site today. Main focus for me is actually I'm helping organize shelves in the stock room, so I'm going to probably focus most of my attention on that today. I didn't bring a lunch today, so I will be having lunch in the cafeteria. The cafeteria has a lot of options for me to choose from. With that, like that will be my day in the office and I'll check in with you guys later. Have a good one. All right, so I'm back at home. I left work around two o'clock today. I finished what I needed to do at work and I had a couple extra things to do, so I accomplished them at home today. That's the nice thing about the hybrid work environment is when you finish what you need to do on site, but you still have a little bit of things left to do, you can head back home and finish them up at home. So that's what I took advantage of today. On site today, uh, it was a successful day. I had reorganized some shelves in the stock room and also worked on some inventory. Inventory is very important because when building, you need to make sure you have the correct quantities and you don't ever want to run out of parts when you need the parts when you're building something. I'll be logging off here in a second and that will be it for the day. We have a balcony so we like to go outside and enjoy the weather. And I don't go on campus as often as I used to because I'm at a point in my program where I don't take as many classes. I'm only doing research now and this is what I'll be focused on for the rest of the evening. So that concludes a day in the life as a UCF Lockheed Martin CWEB. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are interested in learning more, please click the link in the description. Go Knights and charge on.